Now, about 800 workers of Waterstar Textiles Limited have locked up the factory amidst protests over unpaid salaries. Production at the factory has been suspended since Monday when workers locked up the place. The workers have vowed to keep the place locked until President Mahama intervenes to ensure that their salaries, uh, the salary areas are cleared. I'm currently here at Japan uh, in the Volta region uh, where workers of Volta Star Textiles Limited are demonstrating over unpaid salary areas. Now, workers here have locked up the factory since Monday. Today, they've taken the protest on a different level. They are burning ties and protesting over nine months' salary arrears. Now, workers here say they want President Mahama to come in and explain to them why, after working for nine months, their salaries have not been paid. Volta Star Textiles Limited has a workforce of 1,300, mostly from the Japan Township and adjoining communities. The factory has in recent months gone through some challenging times, ranging from power cuts to the factory in March by ECG to partial abrogation of contract between the factory and DTP. That has given people reason to question the viability of the factory. <laughs> Wednesday's protest has to do with workers' salaries, which have been in arrears for nine months. The workers who have turned down a payment plan by management say similar promises and arrangements in the past have failed. The only way out, they say, is for President Mahama to step in. We have given them a mandate of one good year, but we are not hearing anything. So today, this time around, we are so serious, we are angry, as the saying goes, as we all know, as we all know, that the saying is, a hungry man is an angry man. We cannot afford working with our sto empty stomach. We cannot afford living in this kind of uh, 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 condition. So we are pleading on his... Kwame Nkrumah, or Sajifo doctor, has built this place for more generations to come and do what? Enjoy. But now, we, the workers of VSTL, have seen that eh, our leaders are taking us for granted. They don't want us to eat. They want us to do what? To go down for them to climb. So, what we are repeating and hitting a nail on the head of is that we need His Excellency John Dramani Mahama to come to our aid and say he is paying us our standing debt. This woman has worked in this factory for eight years. She tells me the situation has taken a toll on the workers. We are suffering. Kwame Nkrumah's thoughts should not be in vain. Rather, they should hold the fort so that our husbands can also provide for our children. We will not vote for President Mahama if he does not intervene. The flame may have died down today, but the root cause of this protest still persists as these agitated workers have taken an entrenched and extreme position of meeting with President Mahama to resolve the issue. Outsiders are also feeling the heat. We are not interested in their talks anymore because we have realized that they are all liars over there. All that we want is the money that we want. My last money that is left is this 10 pesos. How can I do that with it? So we are not inviting Mahama here empty-handed with their talks. We are inviting them to come along with the monies. Meanwhile, a board meeting will be held next Monday to determine the way forward for both the workers and the company. Latif Idris, Joy News, Japan. Meanwhile, the agitated workers are calling for diversification, diversification of the factory. For them, the only way out is for President Mahama to pay the areas and diversify the factory. People over here in the management are on pension. Why are they not leaving the work for all? the younger one to take over? They are living with their stomach. Their basic is even more than even my 10 years salary. This is too much. People over there, they are not qualified. They are not qualified because of loan service. They are there. Why some people, me, I am like this. I did accounting, university. But because when I came here, they said, I did not do anything about Texas. So I was employed as a weaver.
For almost one and a half years, no permanent. My salary is what? One, six, two. One, six, two. It's too much. 162. It's too much. We are dying. So let the government to employ the, uh, a skilled personnel to take in charge of the administration. So, man, so you, you would rather go for diversification of the company, of the Very factory? Good. Exactly. Very good. Is that what exactly. you guys are calling for? Exactly. 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 We want investors to come and invest. They shouldn't leave the work for these people. I sleep here all night. Look at this stone. I sleep on this stone. When the management is sleeping on their bed, they ask at now, look at me, I'm still like that. When we come to work in the night for night shift, when it's break, this is our bed. This, this, this stone is our bed. No resting place. No resting, we sleep for 30 minutes. But still look at us. We are still like that. Are we not Ghanaians? Are we not Ghanaians? We are pleading with Mahama to step into this work. For at the time Brisco was here, when you work for three to six months, you have been permanent. Your enjoyment with your family and your household is perfect. But look at what we are happy, what is happening now. We are suffering. Eight hours standing is not easy. Well, that'll be it for business here on News This Time now to check out the very latest in the world of sports.